Hey everyone, welcome to my review for the new movie Wonka. The story of Willy Wonka. Wonka is, is the third Willy Wonka movie that's been made in the past few decades. Uh, yeah, the movie's directed by Paul King. There's that. The guy who made Paddington and Paddington, Paddington 2. Those are great films. Come on, this movie has to be good. Even though, God, those trailers look like absolute dog shit. I was not excited for this movie. Oh, absolutely not. But I wanted early access to the film because Paul King. I will see any movie Paul King does. Those Paddington movies I love so much. Those are such great feel-good family films. I love them. I love them. Even though the trailer looked like shit, I could I could be wrong. Like You could easily be wrong. A trailer does not define the movie. It's just the marketing. Um, so I still want to go see it. See how it was. And you know, after seeing it, it's very underwhelming. It's uh, not as bad as I thought it would be, but still not very. It's not very good. <laughs> it's, it's not that good. <laughs> Just saying. It's literally the origin story of Willy Wonka as a young, was he twenty year old in this movie? I don't know. Uh, basically, he's poor. And he's trying to make his way into the industry, the candy and chocolate industry. He's going through all the corporates and everything. And he has a dream to open up his own chocolate factory full of magic and wonder and, of course, chocolate. And it's also the story how he meets the very first Oompa Loompa, played by Hugh Grant for some reason. I guess they couldn't get little people. That's offensive, I guess. We don't want to upset Peter Dinklage. <laughs> the movie has a bit pretty good cast. You got Timothy Chalamet, Hugh Grant, Roman Atkinson, Sally Hawkins. Like You, you got some really good uh Good stars in here. Some good British actors. Um, God, how do I describe this movie? Okay. Um, I liked this movie as much as I probably liked Mary Poppins Returns. And if you know me, when I first saw Mary Poppins Returns, I actually loved it and thought it was great. And then I saw it a second time and I'm like, I guess it wasn't that great. <laughs> I'm very indifferent to Mary Poppins Returns. I have a love-hate relationship with that movie. I think Emily Blunt is so good in that movie. I just think the music is just kind of eh, and it's just a rip-off of, well, Mary Poppins. And even though there's some feel-good fun, and I think there's a lot of enjoyable elements to it, it just doesn't work as a film. Very similar to this, except it's it's it tries to do its own thing. Other than, like, Mary Poppins Returns, this one actually tries to be its own standalone kind of movie. It doesn't try to be just like Child of the Child Factory or Willy Wonka. It tries to be its own style and its own kind of thing. It's with its uh, visual style and with its humor. It's very different sort of humor. Very campy, very silly and goofy and stuff. Willy Wonka was very dark. That was a very dark, dark movie for a kid's film. And Charlie was just awkward. The humor was all awkward humor. It was like silent and just weird. Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. <laughs> like it was just awkward humor. I guess some people really like that. This one is just more fun and out there, in your face and goofy for the kids, I guess. Um, it wasn't for me. Uh, I think the original Willy Wonka has a lot of great jokes because Gene Wilder is just so funny in that movie. But I think a lot of the parents in those movies are very funny. This movie's not funny. It tries very hard to have a sense of humor. It's not my kind of humor. I don't think I laughed at a single joke in this movie, but I guess some people will dig it, but I was not a fan. But like I said to Mary Poppins Returns, what makes Mary Poppins Returns probably the best thing about that movie is Emily Blunt. Same with this movie. The best thing about this movie is Timothy Chalamet as Willy Wonka. He is the second best performance uh, not beating Gene Wilder, of course, because Gene Wilder is the the goat when it comes to uh, Willy Wonka. I don't think anyone can match his perfection performance for uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, way better than Johnny Depp. Love Johnny Depp. I, I love him. He's a great actor, but he was just so bad in that movie. That was probably one of his shittiest roles. And this one, I could tell, is supposed to be more of like a young gene wilder not a young johnny depp so that's a good thing <laughs> i can tell they were trying more to be like gene wilder's version than johnny depp's because they know what the fans want um i thought visually it looked a little 
too modern, very flashy. It just it looks like a very typical 2023 visual movie. Like I thought the CGI was so obvious, especially with the Oompa Loompa. My God, that's the most obvious CGI. It looked bad in the trailers and it looks just as bad in this movie. Hugh Grant is trying his best to be. He's not bad in the movie, but he's not given a lot. And he's trying to get a lot of the jokes. But it's just it just doesn't work. It's just he's not very funny in this movie. Uh, I loved Roman Atkinson in this movie. I won't say whose character is, but I really enjoyed him too in the movie. But Timothy Chalamet is really great in this film. I think he plays a very very good Willy Wonka. He even has a song number, which was actually pretty good. <laughs> it's probably, like, my favorite uh, song number, a certain one he does. Uh, there's a f quite a few... Mu it's a musical. This movie is a straight musical, like the original Willy Wonka. And some of the songs aren't that bad. Some of them are just very generic and very forgettable. And I just... Like, eh. Kind of like Mary Poppins Returns. Like, Mary Poppins Returns, I liked a song or two, but most of them were just forgettable. The same with this one. It's just... They were forgettable songs. Um, they do villains in this movie. They're very silly, very over the top, and just it's hard to take it seriously. And they, they try to have a meaningful message, and I get it, and that's a nice message for kids and stuff about dreams and imagination. All fun and good. I, I, honestly, if a kid wants to see this movie, I think kids could have a lot of fun and enjoyment. And I think kids get fun with Charlie and the Chalk Factory and Willy Wonka. I think it's just, it it goes good with the three films of just fun family films for the family, for the kids and stuff. But Willy Wonka, uh, I, I always will say is the best because it's also a lot for adults because there's a lot of dark shit in that movie. And there's just stuff for adults, for more adults to enjoy in that movie. Um, this one is more geared to the kids. Which I don't think is wrong, and it's nothing wrong with it, but to me, it just came out very underwhelming. Uh, like Mary Poppins Returns. Like, I don't know what it is. For some reason, when I was watching this movie, it just it gave me Mary Poppins Returns vibes. I was just like, I should be having fun with this movie, and I feel like if this was, like, five years ago, i probably love this movie. It's like when I was watching Mary Poppins Returns, I was having so much fun with the world, and... Because I love the original Mary Poppins so much. And it was just fun to see the characters again. These new musical numbers. And I was just having so much fun that I loved it. But then when I watched it a year again. A year ago later. I just realized it actually isn't that great. This one I just already realized that when I was watching it. And I'm like. It, it, it's trying very hard to be fun. And, up, and just like goofy and silly. And just throws so much shit at you. And you can tell Paul King put a lot of effort into this movie. He's a very creative filmmaker. Just... To me, just I thought it was just underwhelming. It just it, it was not a movie for me, really. Um, I could I could tell people are going to enjoy it, and that's fine. Just I wasn't a big fan of it. And the thing is, it's okay because I didn't hate it. I was actually thinking I was going to really dislike it and think it was really bad and worse than Child and Child Factory, but I actually think it's. Almost on the same level, maybe a little better than Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's just kind of like this underwhelming, middle-of-the-road kind of film. Just like Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory has a lot of more shittier things, but they do some really creative stuff in that movie, more creative than this film, but <laughs> just the characters, almost every character in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is just so bad. At least Willy Wonka, the most important character in the franchise, is done right, and I guess... I think he's the sh saving grace of this movie. If he failed, the movie fails. So I think that's the biggest price I can give this film. Because if he failed, I probably would have hated this movie, really. Because the musical numbers, as much as they are not really bad, they didn't blow me away. The story didn't blow me away. The visuals didn't blow me away. The comedy didn't blow me away. It was just all kind of, eh, not great. Not my not my shtick. But Tilly Chalamet really made it for me. So uh, um, to me, it's just a straight middle of the road kind of movie so easiest rating i can give wonka is on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it a five out of ten it's just it's not good it's not great i didn't hate it didn't like it just kind of there it exists so yeah let me know in the comment section below please tell me uh what is your favorite adaptation of willy wonka do you like the book do you like willy wonka charlie or this version comment below let me know and as always if you like this video please like subscribe to this channel and join the duck side